Hello everyone and welcome to the color theory lecture focusing on the basics of color theory. At the end of this lecture I suggest taking the school color theory quiz on power school. This quiz is timed but may be open note so I highly suggest taking notes as you listen to the lecture today. In this lecture we will be reviewing the basics of color theory. Some of this you may be familiar, some of it may be new. The basics of color theory include good colored pencil technique, color theory vocabulary, and color mixing strategies. Stay tuned to the end when I review how to fill in the color wheel worksheet that you received in your take home packet. According to Merriam Webster Dictionary, color is a quality such as red, blue, green, yellow, etc., that you see when you look at something. A color wheel, as you see on your worksheet, is a way to organize the colors that show the varying color relationships. The primary colors are the most basic building blocks, red, blue, and yellow. All other colors are derived from these three primary colors. The secondary colors are mixed using a combination of the primary colors. Red and yellow make orange. Yellow and blue make green. Blue and red make violet. Depending on what color you start with, the hue of the secondary color will change. Please look below each block to know what your first layer should be. Tertiary colors, also known as intermediate colors, are mixed using one primary color and one secondary color. For example, when you come to make blue-green, you combine equal parts of blue, equal parts of green. These colors are placed between the combined primary and secondary colors on the color wheel. Monochromatic. Artists often use tints and shades of colors to create monochromatic value scales. Shades are colors mixed with black. Tints are colors mixed with white. If you look at the monochromatic scale below, what was the base color for this? If you guessed red, then you're correct. What is the name of the tint used with red? If you guessed pink, then you are correct again. Warm colors are your sunset colors. Warm colors come forward in space. So whenever you're shading a highlight, you might want to use the warm color. Cool colors or your nighttime colors are colors that recede into space. Whenever you're shading shadows or areas that are going back, you might want to use a cool color. Look at the picture to, to determine which colors are which. Complementary colors are colors that are opposite on the color wheel. Analogous colors are colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. This painting has a blank color scheme. Notice how Cezanne used blue and orange and their tints and shades. What would be this color scheme? Complementary. This painting has a this painting has a blank color scheme. Notice how George O'Keefe used yellow, yellow orange, orange, red orange, red, and their tints and shades. If you guessed analogous color scheme, then you would be right. Now it's time to move on to the color pencil technique review. Watch the rest of the video for a time lapse on how to complete the color wheel. Okay guys, just a reminder, for filling out the color wheel, you only need your primary for numbers one through eight. So start it with your red, yellow, and both blues. Always use light pressure when shading in your colored pencils. Remember, colored pencils are more like crayons than the graphite you're used to. That wax layer will build up over time. 
Also, neatness counts. It is very difficult to erase colored pencils. Keep that in mind. Most blues are too dark to use within a color packet, so you need to blend both the light blue and dark blue together, but be consistent. I shouldn't see patches of one color or the other. When mixing your secondary colors, such as your orange, greens, and violets, start with the lighter color first. Alternate between pencils, first one layer, then the next. a clear distinction between your orange and your yellow orange. Your orange, your, excuse me, your yellow orange should be a nice golden color. Again, use those light layers. Once you add too much red, it's hard to take back, so be careful. In between colors, you want to clean your pencil. What happens when I combine opposites? They make brown, which you will learn later in this video. Choose your blues wisely. Many color packets have more than one blue to choose from. Use the lighter blue for yellow, green, and red, violet. Use the darker blue for blue, green, and blue, violet. as you start to fill out this color wheel. This is supposed to take about a week. If you feel like you finish this in a single day, you're going too quickly. Take your time. There is no rush. Fill in the color wheel and repeat again for numbers two, three, four, five, six, and seven. You should practice each color at least twice. Hi hey everybody, now we're going to move on to the next part of our project, making neutral browns. A neutral brown is a combination of two complementary colors in addition to a brown, black, or gray. Just a refresher, complementary color is a color, colors that are opposite on the color wheel. Your complementary color pairs are red and green, blue and orange, purple and yellow. So in the top two sections, write the two colors that you're going to combine together. For this, I've chosen the red violet and the bright yellow. I think it combines the best to make browns. Fill in both the bottom square and the top square. Don't forget your cross hatching. Alternate between your two complementary colors, adding layers upon layers until you can't see either the purple or the yellow. It should make a light tan color. Don't be discouraged if the color looks weird at first. Remember, keep adding layers. Be patient. After you've done this, in the bottom box you want to add an additional brown pencil. Again, this is just in the bottom box. The purpose of using the brown is to unify those two complements together. It's a very subtle but distinct difference. Once you've finished one complementary pair, move on to the next. Next, I'll be doing red and green, and then blue and orange. See how these browns are different from each other.
Notice how the yellow and purple brown is a nice tan, the red and green is a dark hue, and the blue and orange has a bit of a greenish tint to it. Different browns have different jobs. Choose wisely which neutral brown you may want for your chosen fruit or vegetable. Okay, good luck. Let me know if you have any additional questions.